Get ready, because if your doctor isn't using AI right now, they'll be using it soon. Today, we're talking to one of the researchers who's working to bring artificial intelligence into the exam room. So how long until I can stop going to the doctor because I can just talk to a robot? Well, I, I, I think probably most fundamentally, you won't want to stop going to the doctor because one of the most important things is that human connection with your physician. Um, but also I think in general, we're a long way off from that. Neutron is an AI language model. It reads the notes that physicians are already taking and then makes predictions. A recent study found that Neutron can accurately estimate patients' risk of death, their length of hospital stay, and a whole lot of other important questions. The solution we latched onto was the physician notes. You know, when every interaction I have as a physician with a patient, I take a notes on what I'm doing, and those notes get fed into the Neutron system, which then outputs all of this useful information that the AI has determined based on just reading what I wrote. So it very much is a assistant that sits there and reads as I write, and it can tell me a bunch of information about the patient in front of me or tell the organization information about the patient in front of me. Neutron can predict how likely patients are to readmit to a hospital with 80% accuracy, but reading doctor's notes is just the beginning for AI in medicine. And the funny thing is when it comes to AI, Owerman is more excited about the boring stuff. To me as a doctor, the most exciting uses of AI isn't as much for the clinical component of my practice, but it's all the non-clinical elements, especially the ones that take me away from the clinical part of my practice. You know, it's the, the documentation, the operational stuff, the, some of the quality control. It's everything that takes me away from patients, to me those are the exciting applications of AI. But AI isn't just doing backroom clerical work. People are experimenting with having AI handle all kinds of medical tasks, including some that require interpersonal communication. Earlier this year, a therapy app called Coco tested a chatbot handling users' mental health questions. In one recent study, ChatGPT did as well as doctors at diagnosing patients in emergency situations. And last April, a study compared doctors and ChatGPT's answers to patients' medical questions. A panel rated ChatGPT's answers as more accurate 79% of the time. But what's really crazy is the AI's responses were rated as empathetic 10 times more often than the answers from real doctors. Is there any particular concern? Like, should people be worried when they hear that AI is gonna be helping their doctor? And I think anyone who's asked it factual questions is probably frequently surprised at how much it knows, but also you only know those things are true because you know it yourself and are able to verify it. And so I think that question of, certainly doctors working with ChatGPT in my mind have a maybe a lower level of concern. So ultimately physicians, they know medicine, they can understand that, hey, if it's saying this, it's probably off. Um, I think for me, the big concern is when patients go to ChatGPT and say something, because as a patient, you're, you're some sense of vulnerable population, especially if you're sick. Um, and if you don't have the medical knowledge to verify it, you, misinformation is a major issue with these models. Let us know in the comments how you feel about it. Do you want your doctor using AI? Because like it or not, they'll probably be doing it soon.